Hey there guys, Dylan here for ProductionCrate.com. The amount of useful assets on this site has just skyrocketed over the years, and the most exciting collection for me has definitely been the motion graphics. Hand-drawn pop-ups, web icons, ink and paint simulations, even something as straightforward as a screen-filling transition has proven to be super useful. For years, my go-to method of personalizing these files has been to change the colors around, but today I'm going to show you guys how to take that method to the next level and replace entire palettes of color right in Adobe Premiere. So for the uninitiated, changing the color of a motion graphic is as easy as dragging an effect in your editor. If you look in the preview, we've got a flat, single color piece that goes through a basic animation. And with the click of an eyedrop tool, you can transform it into whatever shade of whatever color you want. It's very quick and it's very easy. But let's kick things up a notch. I'll throw in another pop-up here, this one made up of two different colors. Once we replace one color using the color replace tool, we just do it again. It's that simple. And honestly, it's pretty fun once you start to learn which shades of which colors go well with one another. If any of these replacements don't seem to work, just check off the solid color box and then adjust the value directly above that. More often than not, that's usually what fixes it. Let's keep going. I'm gonna push this one step further with one of these multicolor transitions. We'll take what we learned and replace each of these hues with something that pops. Something from a logo, maybe. Something styling, something fresh, something awesome. What to use, though? Oh yeah, <laughs> that'll work. So I'm gonna apply several layers of this to our transition, mapping each new color from our source using the eyedropper tool. And once I've gotten all that taken care of, I'll play it back. Voila, an already slick MoGraph with a fresh coat of paint. But that's not even the coolest part. Go over to your effects panel, right or control click the drop down and select all. And then once you do that, you right click again and select save preset. I'm gonna call it PC palette one, but you go ahead and call it whatever you think fits. One thing you may notice about some of these other transitions. They all use the same colors. Meaning if you wanted to use more than one of them in a project with the replacements that you made, all you have to do is find the preset from earlier and drag it on top. Whether you're working with a logo like we did or eye dropping colors from other branding elements like documents or web pages, it'll fit perfectly into your video productions. But let's say you don't have any of that to work with. You don't have a logo or any other materials. If that's the case, I strongly recommend checking out Adobe Color. It's a cool little subsite that gives you a color wheel to work with in different configurations to shape your own palette, as well as an endless supply of user-submitted palettes that you're free to use for whatever it is you're working on. If you happen to have a Creative Cloud account, you can download these and save them into your library so you can use them amongst your different software, or you can just, you know, screen cap it. I mean, you have to put them somewhere, but ultimately, if that's your only option, then yeah, go, go ahead and do that. Now take what you've learned and try it out on other pop-up assets, or you can use one of those flat colored end cards and customize it to the vibe of your channel. Really have fun with it guys, and if you stumble upon anything cool while playing with them, feel free to share it in the comments down below. Well guys, that's all I got for you today, I hope you get some use out of this. This has been Dylan, it's good to be back, until next time, go make it awesome. Peace.